Hello everybody, my name is Katrinka. I'm a professional singer and a vocal coach and welcome back to my channel. Now, if you are new, which I know there's gonna be a bunch of new people arriving, then make sure to get cozy. It's late autumn now and uh, I am here with another treat. After the huge success that I had with my reaction to Big Mama, which actually started this big wave of other people reacting to uh, them, which I'm happy because, oh my God, they deserve every bit of attention. They are absolutely precious. I actually got a lot of you guys recommending another of uh, Korean pop legends and today we're finally gonna look at him he just recently had a dingo live performance so let me introduce you kim jong kook let's go if you are interested in everything singing and music related this is the right place for you so please don't forget to subscribe if you are interested in me singing i've recently done a cover of psycho from red velvet uh, on my second music channel and the link is gonna be down in the description and if you've ever wanted to work with me on your voice and discover the wonderful world of singing then head to my webpage which is gonna be linked down below and you're gonna find all the information that you're gonna need about my one-to-one -one lessons which are 60 or 30 minutes or my vocal analysis. Thanks to my global audience and my global reach, I got to work with a lot of various people and I know that I repeat myself over and over again, but it's been one of the best experiences in my life to just work with so many wonderful people from so many different corners of the world. So if you want to join them, I'll be waiting for you. And now without any further ado, Kim Jong Kook and his dingo performance. Okay, so this is gonna be my first guy on the dingo music um, before I only have done ladies, so I'm very, very excited. Let's get into that. Oh, handsome! 안녕하세요. 예, 데뷔한지 이제 27년째를 달리고. Very handsome, very elegant. 네, 오늘은 짐종국 아니고 예, 김종국으로 노래하는 모습으로. 하겠습니다. Something that I'm hearing is that he has a lot of huskiness in his voice, which can come with an age as well. Of course, we are using our vocal cords, tons. There's some chest resonance there. I'm very excited to hear him singing. I'm very excited to hear if he's gonna go to more lower spaces or if we're gonna go up. Mm -hmm. Nice vibe. Okay, so we're going higher. Okay, I did not expect this at all. I mean, we went up, so I was like, okay, so the beginning of the song is gonna be a little higher, and then we're gonna gradually get into other placements as well. This is a strong start. This is their normal placements, and then they 
just have the audacity <laughs> to go and sing a whole song like this in a completely different register. There was this was not his most comfortable register, but it's very admiring that he could go and sing the whole song in it. The beautiful placements that he has is a very um it's it's very thin because it, this was in his higher mix so it was very thin but he was developing it beautiful so a little hit and then a little development after that um when you're in such a thin placement um it's very intricate word a work around there because you cannot lose your grip over the tone um the pitch has to be perfect and he was handling it perfectly i i would never guess that he's gonna be so fluent and so comfortable in such a high placement also he diffuses the phrases wonderfully with, with a little bit of a vibrato but and on such a low tension that the vibrato is almost disconnected i like it a lot Let's go. I'm gonna put him up a little. Ladies and gentlemen, Kim is here to stole our hearts. If you would not be used to singing in this placement, it would be incredibly straining. I think it, even for him, it's uh, a lot of focus and um, a lot of warm up, warm up, definitely. But he's his technique is showing up. It's very obvious that he's been doing this for his whole life. That this placement is nothing new for him. This was on the verge of how high he can go. His voice was getting so thin at the very, very highest places, but he still didn't thin it to the point that he couldn't develop it just a little bit. So every tone he hit, however thin it was, he still created some additional place for it. So a hard song. A lot of people would be completely done after this one because this was incredibly high. And this was incredibly, like the whole, song was in a placement where there's a lot of tension a lot of pressure on the voice so good job good job i'm vibing with his music style a lot too okay now we're gonna get a little bit of that Natural. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. 
내게 중독된 사람처럼 단 하루라도 널볼수 없는 난 살아낼 수 없어 널 사랑했어 후회는 없어 이제와 는 아니라고 말해도 어떻게 내가 널 잊을런지 그 마음 하나로 눈물인 내 사랑에 네가 없다면 넌 죽었다면 just, just notice, I don't want to interrupt it, but just notice how intricate uh, intricately he's building the atmosphere with a lot of breath at the beginning of the phrase and then coming into the clean tones so like a really breathy tone at the beginning of the phrase which usually it's another way around so a lot of breathness at the beginning up to the clean voice and it's creating this romantic stunning feeling <laughs> Very light cries. This would be a difficult placement for a female singer, to be fair. Um, very, 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 very gorgeous high notes. Again, like this is the third song in a row. Baby, never can see you again. Just can't forget my love. Whoa, whoa. Anything left in my life. Well, first of all, I love the confidence. He comes out incredibly confident, like he knows he's doing very well. But this is hard. Oh my God. His vocal cords have to be so exhausted after this. Um, this is incredibly high for the tone quality that he has. And um, he's still handling it perfectly. He's thinning his voice very, very much at a higher placement, which is good because it is the way to make it very stable. And I like, I, I think I've heard a couple of hints of a cries, but just a tiny, like a tiny little hints of that. But I like that approach with a lot of breath at the beginning of the phrase and then cleaning it up into very beautiful, bright, thin tone that was gorgeous. I'm not breathing. <laughs> old charmer. He's an old charmer. I love it. This is the fourth one. Oh my god.
Is he singing like this just all the time? This is a hard job for his vocal cords. Oh my God. It is precise. He's perfectly in pitch. It's just, this has to be incredibly exhausting to sing so high when your voice is naturally much lower. But yeah, props for him. He's still holding on very, very well. I love how he does his slow vibrato. It's so slow and very light. The pressure is just so tiny that it's almost disconnected. It sounds very, very interesting there. And even though it's so high set, he is doing technically everything that can help his vocal cords to handle uh, the position better so it's much higher in his register and his mix and he is doing a lot of technical technically correct stuff to take away a little bit of a pressure of the vocal cords so at all times he has a smile on it's not really a smile i talked about it before if you put your corners up while belting or while opening the tones it's not really like smiling but it's actually creating an extra space for opening which opening takes a little bit of a weight of the vocal cords it's making the tone bigger brighter more substantial and he does that a lot for example that's just one of the things he does to really really be able to open those phrases nicely <laughs> This is me is the name of the song. The slow vibrato is almost like almost disconnecting. actually genuinely shocking me like a lot of people would have opted if in this position a lot of people would have opted for a head voice they would just sing it in head voice and he's just not he's just refusing to go anywhere close to head voice he's just like no i can do this <laughs> i'm perfectly fine oh my god the amount of control that he has and 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 the way that it's the what fifth song he's singing so high you know what, but Loki, I wish we had one song where he would utilize his very lower, like much lower voice a little bit more, but this is admirable as hell. <laughs> This 
this was a hard phrase. Oh my god. Hold on. <laughs> he went from very, very, very anchored voice into the thinniest of the mi- oh, no. If he wants, he can just barely touch the tones, but still make them warm and mm. <laughs> This was her voice. This is such a jazzy composition as well. So, right down my alley. This was probably my favorite placement for him. So it was not in a very low register, but it was not the constant thinning up the tones and like super high, high mix. This was gorgeous. This was comfortable for him as well, because this was a place where we got a little bit more color coming through because it's closer to his chest voice. It's just a little bit better anchored much more color coming through he was having much more fun with it as well oh i love the composition too the jazz co like the composition with the hints and bits and pieces of jazz and uh, also yeah the kind of the set of the instruments was getting the jazzy feeling as well i love this one probably my most favorite song so far let's continue the slide down
that was much wider so even though it was super high he widened it up as much as possible so it got that more substantial qualities of almost the belt it was doubled because the music is quite loud for me at least for my liking i would like the music to be a little bit more tuned down so i could hear him better but beautiful beautiful open placement it was clean it was perfectly hit <laughs> This is so high. I, oh my god, yes. <laughs> absolutely i i would i would have a deep breath i had a deep breath after this performance with him as well these are these songs are incredibly difficult incredibly difficult they're so high they're so high that a lot of female singers would or might have a bunch of issues with them so for his register this is crazy high i wonder I wonder why most of his songs are composed so super high. That would be really interesting information. If you guys would have that, have that info, let me know. But I really wonder why it's just so insanely highly composed, most of them. It's not just like one or two, it's all of them. So that's really incredible. The, the, the highest tones are almost straining. It's, it's uh, really admirable that he just keeps on going. He's doing very well. <laughs> This placement so much more from him. Oh, he pulled it up perfectly. It was much close, much more closed um, vowel. So it can be much more directly placed in the uh, nasal placement and much more clean. And the run was gorgeous. This is the placement that I love from him the most. So most of the song in generally kind of a little bit more anchored parts, a little bit more color, a little bit lower and a few really beautiful clean runs up. I think this fits him perfectly. For example, this one was so it was more on ooh, 
which is such a great vowel to go very high with because it's closed and it's you have much more control over that vowel. <laughs> this connection beautifully done good job drink some more guy this one is difficult this like i am exhausted it's 21 minutes into performance and i am exhausted for that man he's doing some tough work there like a tough one <sighs> See the disconnection? So he kind of places a tiny bit of uh, like a breathy pause. The details is always about the details. The fantastic performance is always about these tiny details that not a lot of people actually notice, but they are creating the whole atmosphere of that song. It would never be like that without those tiny details. Great job. He's very intricate with his voice. He's very, very, very intricate. It's really a great job done. And still got that beautiful open tone in the end. His vocal cords are getting tired though, you can tell. But it's a hard work that he's doing. I love this song again one of my faves faves from him 
we got a little bit of a warmth in the lower areas where he could relax his voice a little bit and there was so much more color coming through it was playful but then he got runs to this insane thin high notes but like we know he can do those oh my god those are so gorgeous it's his range is incredible and he didn't even go to like his very low register so imagine you would connect his lowest register on this insane range i mean and we are not even talking head voice oh my god and he's a hopeless romantic you can tell <laughs> you can tell from the songs Oh yes, this is what I wanted. Sorry. Oh. This, this is where his voice, at least for me, is the most beautiful. It has such a beautiful tone quality. He knows how to approach it so lightly with such an intricate vibrato it's just oh give me more of this placement for kim please 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 because his voice is so beautiful there Okay, this, this one, this was a winner to me. This was 100% a winner. I got the, I got an anchored voice. I got a color. I got the beautiful, the very specific vibrato that he's doing, the, the play that he does with the, with the breath. So that disconnection from the first turn of the place. Just gorgeous. I think I got like a very opened, a little bit more chunky build there as well. Tiny bit of fright. Loved this one. This one was amazing. This one was amazing. Oh, this is a brand new song. The 
that was very light, breathy, upper tone. I like that one. That was much less straining. Very beautiful. <laughs> that was gorgeous. My <laughs> If I understand it correctly, these are the snippets because um, just as Big Mama, um, the Akima is also coming back right now. He's having a comeback in 2021. And this is a little snippet of his comeback song. So make sure that when he's going to release it, you're going to be there supporting Kim. All right. I want to see you guys support Kim because he did an amazing job today and he deserves that. Listen to what I <laughs> so at first I thought he's gonna have just like a one two songs and that insanely high placement but this man just powered through 20 uh, whole 28 minutes of like any human performance with the, the insanely high placements for his quite major voice and he did it <laughs> He hit every single tone, so there were there, there was everything in pitch, and he still maintained uh, the beautiful openers. Nothing was just too thin or too lightweight. He never switched into that head voice, even though he, I would, <laughs> I would, most of the singers would. If it would be so insanely high, you would stop pressuring it through the mix, and you would probably go to the head voice. It was insane really I, I i admire him a lot there were a lot of songs that were 10 12 even like i think 16 years old his voice had to change tremendously your voice tends to go deeper your voice tends to get more anchored and there's just so many f just physical changes uh, to the voice that you cannot influence. You can train your voice, you can maintain its health and uh, you can maintain the fantastic technique. There are singers that are singing their whole life, but they have to change the approach to certain passages in their songs or they just simply don't sing certain songs anymore because the voice changed so much that it's just not built for that anymore. And just the fact that years after, even though his voice is much lower set now, probably I would have to go and listen to his earlier recordings of these songs. But the fact that he still went and powered through them so clean, it it's it's incredible. It's really incredible. And um, I incredibly enjoyed the songs where he got to sing in a, in a little bit more comfortable placement because I think his tone quality is gorgeous. And I, I really hope that the new songs he's going to come up with now are going to be much more focused on, on that gorgeous full color. And the snippet from the new song that I've seen there was actually very promising that we're gonna get a lot of that color that we're gonna get a little bit of that anchored tone quality and i'm very excited for that so definitely when kim is gonna come out with this new song let's all listen i'm very excited about it women voices would have problems with certain certain passages as well so great job i'm incredibly impressed and i cannot wait for the new song and if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to subscribe right here here is the video that a youtube actually recommended for you and here is the rest of my k-pop and korean music reactions so please stay safe and healthy i'll see you next time